Bingo, we're back. We're back yet again here on a given Wednesday at 5 p.m., the 5 o'clock block. I'm Jay Fidel with ThinkTech, and this is ThinkTech Tech Talks, actually. All right, and we have a special guest today. He's here for the IMS 2017 conference, which is taking place next week at the Convention Center, the Hawaii Convention Center, and uh, that is the International Microwave Symposium, June 4th through 9th next week. And his name is Monty Watanabe. Monty, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Jamie. It's great nice. to have you here. You. Yeah. You're a, you're a microwave person, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I, tell, tell us what qualifies you to do microwave research. Well, first of all, I went to school for it um, at the University of Hawaii, uh, and my advisor is Wayne Chiroma. He's the general chair of this conference. It's all one big happy family, yes, I is. tell yes, you. Yes, it is, yes. And a lot of this symposium is, is out of the College of Engineering at UH Manoa, isn't yes, it? Yes, we have quite a few volunteers who are either former students or current students at the university, so we yeah. are a big part of it. And it's out with Debbie Zimmerman's involved, isn't she? Yes, I knew Debbie this. Is, yes, Debbie is here in studio, and she is definitely involved. She's yeah, involved. and who's right this now. woman, Amanda, sitting next to her in the studio? So Amanda, she is the, um, she, she's involved in the marketing, publicity, and promotions. Um, she's part of the team, the core team at IMS. And she, yeah. She's here. She doesn't want to be on camera, but... <laughs> okay, she, okay, but we, she's with us spiritually. Yes, she, she's yeah. with us. Okay, and um, the, the whole thing is about... Um, oh, and you are the vice chair for marketing and publicity yes. of this conference, this big conference. 8,000 people, am I right? Yes, Coming that's correct. Next week. Next week In fact, yes. a lot of them are here already, I yes, guess. Yes. What is it like to be the vice chair of marketing and publicity? That's interesting. You know, I'm an engineer, so publicity and marketing is not something oh, that I'm familiar yeah. with. Oh. Um, but thankfully, we have folks like Amanda and Debbie here to kind of guide us through <laughs> <laughs> all of these trials and tribulations. But, you know, one of the things is that, you know, as an engineer, we do have a feel for kind of what people want to see, and that's kind of what we do this year. Well, at the end of the day, you want to serve the public, right? That's correct. You don't yes. do it in a vacuum. Yes, that's You correct. want to do stuff that will change the world and yes. make life better for all of us. Yes, that is absolutely in correct. Including cell phones. And yes. take a moment for a shout out to uh, my, my Samsung number eight. <laughs> Samsung number eight. I love this phone. This is, I haven't been paid for this <laughs> promotional <laughs> statement. I love this phone. This is my favorite phone ever. This phone lasts for days and days on one charge. Mm -hmm. This phone is faster, better, cleaner, everything. I, I'm, I'm, I love this phone, yeah. And you're part of that. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, because so, microwave technology is involved in my phone. Exactly. That's how you connect to the world. Without microwave technology, you wouldn't be talking to anyone sending texts. Or and the whole world is connecting. Yeah, that's correct. And yes. you're part of that. You must feel good. You must sleep well. Uh, I, I do. I mean, I'm not necessarily, you know, a direct part of what's put into the phone. But, you know, the technology that we learn or we learn about and we love is, you know, Definitely in there. <laughs> so where does the microwave technology fit in my in my Samsung 8? So you can imagine it as any, you know, it's a wireless technology. So anywhere you're sending data, anywhere you're, you know, talking with anyone, that's the microwave technology is what's sending those signals and receiving those signals. So that's really what's enabling you to connect to the world. So uh, I know, you know, this reminds me of one of our earliest shows. We were talking about computers, and this guy called up and he said, "Yeah, you're talking about computers, but I need to know about electricity. You got to, you guys got to stop this business and talk about electricity." And I said to the the guest, "I said, this one's for you." <laughs> yes. And so he went on talking about electricity. So I'm doing the same thing to you. Honey. <clears throat> what is a microwave? So a microwave is, um, it's a, a range of frequencies in the electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, it, you know, it covers from about, I would, anywhere from one gigahertz up to, you know, hundreds of gigahertz. Um, so that's, you know, when you think about, uh, well, for instance, one of the things that you evaluate your computer is, is the clock speed. So you have a 2.4 gigahertz processor that is actually running at microwave frequencies. And that's how fast it's operating. So it's, sen it's sending, the processor is sending signals out of my phone, yes. which are at those gigahertz speeds in the air, and they're microwaves that are going in the air? They, they are, yes, they are actually radiated out of your phone. Um, you know, there's an antenna in your phone that actually takes the, you know, the data that you have, there's a conversion to microwaves, and then it's radiated out of your phone, received at the base station, and then that's how you're, you make your connection. Is that like a radio wave? It is a, is it a radio wave? It is a radio wave. Yeah, so, so it's a very short radio wave. Ah, uh, yes, very short, yes. Shorter than uh, what we call radio frequency. There's a, you know, there's a whole range of spectrum. Mm -hmm. yes, Miles from, long, you know. From, and the, the, the term we use in our industry is DC to daylight. So anywhere within, you know, from, from the light that you see, that's electromagnetic, electromagnetic wave, but it's not necessarily the same frequency that we're dealing with. How, how big is a micro? A micro is a... 
So micro is a one one million of a meter is is a micro micrometer. So uh, these these waves are anywhere from let's see three centimeters and up or three centimeters and and lower. So really, so it's really, 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 short, really tiny, really and, and and they pulse. I guess they pulse as they move. Yes. So that the that is how the data is communicated across there. Um, the the actual you can think of it like a sine wave, a wave going up and down. Yeah. Um, the data is actually modulated on there. So either by changing the amplitude, the size of the, the wave, or the kind of the phase, you know, that's how you communicate the information across. And, and when you say it's two point four gigahertz or whatever it is, that's the carrier frequency. Th that's the carrier frequency. That means those little waves are running at. Yes. Gigahertz, gigahertz speed, speed yes. lots of little ones all lots compressed, little, little, yes. small little things. Yes. It's really that's really interesting. Yes. So, what's the difference between a you know one that's at uh, two point four gigahertz um, and has um, you know a million um, a million uh, yes. vibrations? Yes, uh, cycles per in, 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 you know, in, in, um, uh, what between that and say a regular weight radio wave or a radio wave that has a long, yes. long distance? What, what's the difference? So the difference is the amount of data that you could pass, you could carry with that signal. Something that's you know oscillating much faster, you're able to pass much more data through. Uh, ah. So there's uh, something called the nice Nyquist limit, which um, basically describes how much bandwidth um, you need to occupy to send a certain amount of data. So we're all limited to that relationship. Um, but you know, the higher frequency you go, the more data you can transmit. That's the thing. Yes. That's why you want it to have as many gigahertz as you possibly that can. That is exactly right, yes. And that's why you want to have small waves too? That is correct, yes. So we live in a world of data. We want to pass a lot of data, photographs, documents, yes. voice, everything. Yes. Video, sure. video, oh, video, oh, major, course. major video. Everybody wants that in the whole world. In every country in the world, they want their Samsung 8s. Yes. I really care about yes. this one. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and they want to be able to pass all this data back and forth. Yes. So, so you go to the College of Engineering and you see all these guys working on, you know, uh, microwaves. Um, wh what do they do uh, when you, when you want to have a, a day of microwave and you want to get up in the morning and say, uh, my name is Monty and I want to study microwaves, what do you do? So there's a range of things you could do. Um, you know, the thing that, I, that first interested me was antennas. Um, you know, my advisor, you know, he, he had me working on some antennas and, you know, through that I came to realize that, you know, there's other things, you know, antenna is just the mechanism that you transmit the information. It converts electrical signals into radiated um, signals. So that's just one aspect of it. But then when you look back at what creates those signals, kind of what you're asking, you know, all those things kind of interest you and you can be involved in it from designing components, to testing components, to, you know, designing the actual semiconductor technology that is involved in you know, creating these devices that allow us to communicate. There's a range of things that you can do, and you know that's one of the things that I think um, you know at our conference we really showcase is the range of. Oh, I can imagine. Can I'll be there. You know. Yes. Yeah. We'll camera. Be I'll be very curious. Time. I'll see you there. I <laughs> yes, know I will. Yes. So, um, so you wake up in the morning and you say, "Well, I think I'll work on an antenna today." Yes. Right. <laughs> so it's all it's it's, it's equipment based. It's equip It's all around the equipment. So you start out. Your project is going to be. I want to make this piece of equipment work better. That's or I want correct. to invent a piece of equipment you can put in the chain of communication that helps the chain of communication. That is exactly right. Yeah. What are you working on? So I am. So in my day job, I'm actually doing uh, what we call mimic design. So it's monolithic microwave integrated circuits. So these are the circuits that sit in your phone that you know allow us to um, transmit at high frequencies uh, to improve battery life. Where one thing we're concerned about is we power like that. efficiency. So, you know, uh, it takes power to transmit these signals. And the more efficient you can make your, you know, your cell phone, you know, the actual parts that transmitting, that's really where you see the most, you know, a lot of gain as far as battery life goes. So that's one of the areas that, you know, we're helping with to improve your battery life. So your goal is to make it faster and better, more efficient, more efficient. and better quality of the transmission of the correct. data smaller size, everything that you want and that you're looking for, that's what we're going for. So how do you achieve that? And, and I hope you don't tell me anything that would be revealed <laughs> as a, a patent secret or anything, but no. go ahead. Yeah, so one of the things that we do is we do a lot of design, a lot of tests. Um, so really what enables us to kind of make improvements is, you know, there's new technologies that are matured at the university or research lab level, and then eventually they find a way into commercial products. So at the, at the conference, what we see is we have a lot of technical presentations that are covering the new ideas, the new things that are enabling this. And then we have the commercial exhibition, which really showcases how we you know, implement this and how we make sales and how we get you know, these products out there with these new technologies. So it's really 
coming together as far as the research and the actual commercial side, which you know, which is, I, I personally feel is that's one of the interesting things about this. Oh, I'm sure. Yes. But again, at the end of the day, you're helping people. Yeah, that, that is changing that is the world yes. because we know how <laughs> disruptive and important this thing yes, is. Yes. So, um, okay, so. Well, precisely what are you working on right now? I mean, if you, to the extent you can tell me. Now, if it's something you can't tell me, it's okay. I'm still going to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's one of the, um, so I'm actually doing a lot of uh, mimic design. So actually designing the power amplifier circuit. The power so amplifier is circuit in the phone. In the phone. You're going to feed power into something in the, in the mimic. Yes. That, that makes it what? Uh, that makes it. Uh, that transmits the signal. So Transmit. we're working on the signal. You know, the more power, more power for the signal. Yes. And if you have more power in the signal, it's going to go further, faster, and that so forth. Exactly. Yes. And and that means that you're trying to find something that doesn't exist in my in my Samsung eight because otherwise you wouldn't be re it would be something at the front end. I mean at the at the at the frontier. Yes. Yes. Um, that is that is what yes. In, so in my in my line of work, we are looking at you know the new technology is. Um, Things like gallium nitride, advanced semiconductor materials that allow, that allow us to really you know, push the envelope as far as... Okay, so you have the little power supply there, a yeah. little tiny thing, probably need a microscope to look at it. Yes, yeah. that is it. Yeah. Very small. Yes. Okay, and the idea is, let's see, um, Monty wants to make this more power, mm -hmm. okay? So how do, you, how do you achieve that? Oh, I love this conversation. <laughs> how do you get more power into the power supply for the telephone? So there's, there's different ways. Um, you know, there are algorithms and design tricks where you can actually... Um, you know, rather than having a static um, design, you can actually have something that has some intelligence in there. So software, the software. Exactly. We're talking about software. Exactly, it comes, this yes. always comes it back always to software. Back. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. <laughs> there, you know, there's those ways. They're actually actually improving the fundamental technology that we're using. Um, you know, there are limitations in certain technologies, but as you know, the scientists and the physicists, you know, as they look at technology and they try to figure out, you know, what do I have to do to make it better. And that's really, we, we say, we always want it better. You know, the design engine. That's what we say here at <laughs> exactly. Tech also. Yes. You, can't, you can't have a day like yesterday. It's got to be a better day. <laughs> that is true, yes. We're all pushing for that same, you know. Okay, so how do you make the power more and better? How do you do that? Give me an example. So, for instance, one of the, you know, kind of the, um, the standard has been, you know, uh, gallium arsenide uh, semiconductor technology. Uh, the recent uh, kind of advancements have been made in gallium nitride for higher, higher power. Um, we material have, science. Material science, yes, exactly. Yeah. I work with, you know, folks from UCLA who have gotten their material ah. science degrees. So ah. there's, a, there's a whole bunch of, you know, a, real, a really big team effort in as far as development of this. Technology. Well, that, that raises the whole question I was going to ask you about patents and trying to, you know, preserve your intellectual work mm -hmm. product. And at the same time, you have to collaborate because there's a world out there of people working on the same thing. How do you do that? Is it trust? Is it love? What is it that makes you trust the other guy to have a collaboration <laughs> and not rip you off? So it's, it really comes down to this conference. You know, a lot of great ideas are shared at this conference. And they do it because, you know, they really want to show that, show the work that they've done. And at the same time, when they do that, they get a lot of questions. And, you know, it's really answering those detailed questions. That's really where you kind of keep the secret sauce to yourself. <laughs> but you still give them enough to, you know, um, kind of give you the uh, pat on the back, right? Yeah, yeah, you did a good job. It's you know? an art form. <laughs> it is, it is, yes. Going to a conference is an art form. Yes, you know, it's here, I think. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's Monty Watanabe, uh, and he is the Vice Chair for Marketing and Publicity at IMS 2017 next week, uh, June 4th. And IMS stands for the International, not just the National. The International Microwave Symposium at the Hawaii Convention Center. We're going to take a one minute break. We'll be right back. We're going to find out exactly what's going to happen next week at the Convention Center. I'm so excited. We'll be right back. Think Tech Hawaii, 25 talk shows by 25 dedicated hosts every week, helping us to explore and understand the issues and events in and affecting our state. Great content for Hawaii from ThinkTech. Some say scuba divers are the poor man's astronaut. At Dive Heart, we believe that to be true. We say forget the moon. Dive Heart can help children, adults, and veterans of all abilities escape gravity right here on Earth. Search DiveHeart.org and imagine the possibilities in your life. Match day is no ordinary day. The pitch, hallowed ground for players and supporters alike. Excitement builds. Game plans are made with responsibility in mind. Celebrations are underway. Ready for kickoff. MLS clubs and our supporters rise to the challenge. We make responsible decisions while we cheer on our heroes and toast their success. Elevate your match day experience. If you drink, never drive.
Okay, we're back. We're live. That was a refreshing break. And guess what? <laughs> things are not <laughs> things are not the way they were before we left. That's right. Before we're talking to Monty Watanabe by himself, and now all of a sudden we have another face, and that's well, the I'm glad word. to be here. And he's the exhibit manager for IMS 2017. Welcome to the show. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. What is it to be exhibit manager? That sounds interesting. Posters everywhere, huh? Posters everywhere. Yep. So we have uh, roughly 450 companies out on the trade show floor this year, and so what our job is to coordinate everybody and make sure each exhibitor has a, a spot on the floor and has all of their um, equipment and materials they need to put on a great event. Boy, that's great. What kind of exhibits are they? Can you describe some of them? What do they look like? Well, so you have everything from a 10 by 10 uh, companies with uh, every kind of uh, component to build a microwave system you can imagine on up to large uh, thousand square foot booths from test and measurement companies to uh, RFIC companies, uh, oh, software companies. RFIC, yeah. So that's a radio frequency integrated circuit. Of course, I knew that. At, at dinner, my wife and I speak at little ass. <laughs> oh, who doesn't? It's, I thought it was a household name, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> so when I see, uh, when I go, I'm going, when, when I see little um, objects that are, you know, uh, scientific objects, technological objects. You will. So you'll see. Well, so the, the exhibitors. Are bringing out the building blocks of all these systems. So what you'll see is a lot of small pieces that ultimately go into a much larger, uh, yeah. whether it's a radar system, antenna system, any uh, uh, if, if cell I, phone. If I drop this on the floor, well, it's, it's looks like it's been dropped already. If I drop this on the floor and I took the pieces apart, they would be really tiny, teeny, wouldn't they? Yes. How do you look at them? We were talking Indeed. about the laboratory where you have the microscope or yes, something. That's right. You look at the circuit boards. My. So mm -hmm. how do we see the circuit boards in the exhibits? They're so tiny. Well, there's not much to look at. You look at a board and say, <laughs> okay, well, that's very interesting. So there's the, really what you're seeing is the equipment that you use to be able to analyze and test that, uh, those circuits to see if uh, they're the working. Electronic equipment. Exactly. That you can see and because so, you have to. Right. That's the interesting part. <laughs> uh, but, you know, uh, antenna systems and, and radars also are very big. You know, so you will see some of that as well. And So this is um, more, than, more than phones. Oh, yes. Oh, phones absolutely. are probably really important. Yeah, it's really, it. you know, anything that travels across uh, the air in some form or fashion uh, using, you know, electronic signals. And how Monty is really that? the expert on all of this, so. <laughs> well, uh, we're having a wonderful conversation. How, <laughs> how, how, how did you get involved in this? Was this something you studied in school or just decided? No, you? I'm actually a business guy, so I'm not technical uh, at all. Um, exhibit managers frequently. Exactly, you know, so uh, that's uh, when, when we can't go to engineering school, this is where we wind up chasing, chasing engineers around uh, exhibit halls and making sure that they are where they need to be. Yeah. So, you know, um, so no, I've been uh, producing conferences and trade shows for 27 years oh, now. Oh, that's great. Um, that's beautiful. It's, How every day is a new day, a new and interesting day. It's a career. You meet a lot of people. Huh? Well, you know, nobody grows up saying, gee, I want to grow up and become an exhibit manager. <laughs> but, maybe now they will. <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> they will. But I highly recommend all you college uh, kids out there looking for a career. You, know, you can't go wrong. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> How do they get your job? You know, they probably want your job. Uh, call me, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going to happen next week at this conference? I mean, if I walk in on the 6th, is it? Well, the 6th is Tuesday, yeah? Mm -hmm. yep. uh, or is it the 5th? When does it start? It starts on actually the 4th. The 4th? Right. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Yes. What do I see? This is a, the, the major exhibit hall there on the ground floor of the convention mm -hmm. center. All the exhibits are going to be there. Yeah. So that opens see? on Tuesday. Okay. Uh, that's where it goes. That runs Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. But okay. the conference portion, so the two major components to this yeah. uh, event are a, a major technical conference, and that's Monty's yeah. Expertise, and then uh, the trade show, so the major trade uh, show so as well. You're, you're on the trade show Thursday. side. Yep. Monty is on the, the technical side, the engineering side. Mm -hmm. uh, and the engineering side, can I get in as a member of the public? Uh, no, unfortunately, you have okay. to um, we, we have to. We have to talk after the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if, let's assume I was an engineer and I got into the, <clears throat> you know, the technical side and I went to this, this, these breakout sessions or whatever it is, mm -hmm. keynotes, uh, what am I going to hear about? So you're going to hear about the next generation, uh, what we call 5G or the fifth generation uh, mobile technology. That's one of the big 
I mean, one of the themes oh, this year is actually... 5G, oh, that's so exciting. Yes, point 5G. So this, this, <laughs> this conference is largely about 5G, then, isn't it? That's what we're focusing on this year as one of our themes, mm -hmm. yes. Good decision. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody wants to know about 5G. Yeah, Can yeah. you take a moment and tell us what 5G is? I do not have 5G in my, in my no. Samsung. Yeah, no, nobody does. Yeah, yeah, does. Oh, yes. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but they will soon. <laughs> Thanks for mentioning that. <laughs> yes, so 5G is actually the fifth, gen fifth generation mobile um, cellular phone technology. Um, it's a standard that is evolving as we speak. Um, it's set to be released in the 2020 time frame. Uh, but at this point in time, we're really looking at the core technologies, the protocols, the actual uh, microwave devices that allow us to get these um, signals across. So we're really at the forefront as far as... You know, the Sounds like it. Mm -hmm. But does 5G exist now, or is it still sort of an aspirational? It's aspirational at this, in this, at this point because you know, there's no standard. Um, you know, the IEEE uh, Insti Institute for Electric... Electric... Electrical and electronic engineers. Yeah, say that three times the fast. Yeah. They set the standards. <laughs> they would be one of the yeah folks involved. Why don't you just up up upstage them and set the standards <laughs> next week? I wish I could, but that is not my. <laughs> and if I did, you guys would be mad at me because the phones wouldn't be working. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, okay, this is this really interesting. So you you can discuss the latest technology. Yes and how it moves forward, and how the standards are going to be set, and how the technology will, will move with the guys who are actually designing the technology. Yes, they are, these, so, are, these are the key players who enable this technology to really take off. You know, I went to uh, one of the conferences in the convention center, I think it was astronomy uh, a year or two ago, and uh, I stumbled into a bunch, I had my camera with me, I stumbled into a bunch of guys sitting at a table, and they all looked friendly and everything. And I said, what are you guys doing? And they said, we're making a deal, get lost. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's what you wanted a trade show. That's what I wanted to hear. It's music to my ear. Anyway, so <laughs> I did, and I have that on tape. Um, but I just wonder if this kind of thing happens now at, at, at your conference. Is this going to happen too? Am I going to find people making deals right there in public like that? Absolutely. Yeah. Big. Maybe in the exhibit hall. In the exhibit hall. There's deals <laughs> being made all day long. What's, yep. What kind of a deal? Give me an example of a deal. Because my, my training is in law, so I have to know the sort of the scope of the deal. What's it like? So, well, it, it's international in scope. So you have people from all over the world. We have roughly, uh, in a typical year, we'll have representation, say, 40 to 50 different countries um, around the world. And so there's certainly a lot of uh, import-export uh, activity going on. It's, uh, but really, the, again, this is the building blocks for for much larger systems. So, you know, to carry a signal across uh, your phone to have a really high bandwidth, low latency transmissions, for example, for 5G, that requires a whole chain of technologies well, to be in place. What you were talking about, it's having a better power, better transmission, uh, better waves, I guess, microwaves, all that. So this leads to the 5G. This is part of the 5G right. development then. Okay. Yep. And so it's not the handset development, for example, but it is the equipment that carries that signal back and forth from your phone to wherever it's going off. I'll ask you a question I asked Monty. How, how, do you, how do you prevent people from taking the other guy's stuff? Hmm? Yeah, we have security. <laughs> 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 well, because it wouldn't, wouldn't you be, if you were a researcher. It depends on what you mean by taking the other guy's stuff, right? Well, so, I don't mean his jacket. <laughs> right. So these, uh, you know, exhibitors do, well, they certainly will vet their uh, Customers, of course, who they're talking to, but they're not, they're also, you know, not putting out all the secret sauce. Ah, right? you mentioned they're, that. They're saying what <laughs> they can do, but not how necessarily right. how they do it. You have to know how far to go. Right. Stop. Exactly. And not to let people know how, when you're stopping. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And, but that's really up to the individual companies to, to vet their trade secrets. Of course. And, and then the, the conference itself, the, uh, all those papers are, are, Gone, they have gone through a lot of legal reviews and everything else yeah. to, to make sure that they're acceptable for publication because they're going out into the world as soon as they're presented. Well, we want that, right? Because science is Absolutely. collaboration. Uh, you, you can't move ahead without collaborating around the world these days. Right. So international, international we got. So where are they coming from? Are they coming from China? So I need to know we have, yes, we have quite a few Chinese exhibitors and attendees. Um, that's been a really a growing uh, segment over the last, say, 10 years. But... Uh, we have a lot of activity in Japan, Korea, 
Um, India is growing. It's small, but, but growing. Uh, and of course, uh, a big contingent from Europe will come in. They'll make the trek all the way across. And, Interesting. To, uh, to, well, so, and and it even mix between German, here, yeah. French, and, and Italian, and, and English. So, uh, but like I say, they come from you know, all over the world. So we, we love 40, that. 48 different people. We love, we, love, we love the diversity of these crowds yeah. that come for these scientific meetings. And so how do you judge the success of next week? Um, you know, what, what, how will you know you've hit the mark? Well, there's, there's a number of different metrics that we look at. Certainly the, you know, the one I look at very closely is what does the exhibitor participation look like and, and those kinds of things. But uh, um, the success to us really is, you know, you can tell when you leave an event if they're coming at you with pitchforks and size and that sort of thing, you know, maybe it's not a success. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, um, but, you know, this doesn't happen too often. No, 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 of course not. I, I'm still here. So. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, what, do you, what do you want out of it yeah, from your point so, of view? Well, you want, uh, you know, you want customers or exhibitors to come away with, with having met good leads, qualified individuals. Engaging. Um, and you want those individuals to go away with having learned something, having uh, found out what the latest technology is, having something they can go back to their company with on uh, Monday and say, wow, I just learned this great new technique yeah. to do X, Y, Z. Yeah. And, um, and when those things exciting. happen, it's very successful. And we, and we certainly look at you know, all the social media chatter and everything else that's going sure. on to gauge, that's a metric. To gauge how people, <laughs> how happy they are. Yeah. And, uh, and generally, this is a, a really a very dedicated crowd. It's very Where important technology. Uh, last year was in San Francisco. Okay, you're doing yeah. better this year. So That was your decision? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice job, <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> Monty, what, what are you looking at to, to determine you know, whether this is successful? I mean, on two levels. You know, one is a, a, in your role as, a, as a, an official of the conference, but in the other is your role as, a, as an engineer and a researcher. So from the official side, I think the one thing that I'm looking, or we've been looking at is kind of the attendee base and who's attending, how many folks are attending, kind of what they're signing up for. And all in all, you know, the, the numbers show that, you know, um, they're doing, I mean, people are attending workshops, they're you know, signing up for our new technical events. So I think we've, we've as far as, you know, setting bar, we've, we've met our mark, I think, as far as what is, personally, what I was looking for. Yep. On the personal side, you know, I think the technology that I'll learn about, all the new, the new things that I'll see, you know, some, I've had a chance to look at, you know, the program, and there's quite a few talks that I want to, you know, check out and kind of see what the secret yeah. sauce is. Yeah. Know, but. <laughs> yeah, me too. And what's your advice, and I'll bring my camera down, what's your advice on where I should go, what I should be looking at, what's really hot? So I think one of the, probably, you know, as you walk, if you're up in the sessions, one thing you want to take a look at is whenever you see a big crowd, you know, typically you can judge the, um, the interest in the topic by the, the amount of yeah. people sitting in the audience. Look for the crowds. Exactly, look for the yeah. crowds. And, you know, that's really where you'll find some interesting technology. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lee. There's camera one. Okay. okay. They're all out there. Millions and millions of them are out there, <laughs> including on their cell phones. Okay. Uh, you have a chance to talk to them and tell them about this and what they should know and what they should do about it. Okay. Well, you should come down and see what we're doing. We do have the uh, Kamaina program, so come take advantage of that, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next week at the Honolulu, our <laughs> Hawaii Convention Center. That's Lee Wood, Exhibit Manager of the International Microwave Symposium, IMS 2017, and of course, uh, Monty Watanabe, who is the Vice Chair for Marketing and Publicity of IMS 2017. Wish you a great show, you guys, and I'll be there to help you make it happen. All right, thank you. Look forward to seeing you. All right. <laughs>